guys missed out on an opportunity right there, I'm just saying. Um, so yeah, uh, it's Valentine's Day. Um, who's in a relationship here? Oh my god, really? Jesus Christ! That was super sad, I was expecting one hand. in a year. Uh, this is the only one that pertains to the person that you're particularly fucking. So I don't really get it, in my opinion, but that's just me. Um, what I think is funny, you know, dating, I'm trying to do it right now. I'm trying to do it right. You know, when I was younger, I was, I was kind of an asshole. I did dumb shit, but I'm doing it right. I'm trying to, you know, I'm waiting. Uh, I'm waiting for something good. Uh, I have Tinder, which is a terrible thing. Um, by the way, how many girls are actually as adventurous as they say on their Tinder profile? It's like, I like going hiking. Do you really? Is it more like you like eating a lot of nachos in your bed and then say, I'm on an adventure because I'm watching the next season of you? I don't know. It's just, it's not something that I, 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 I always, I question those Tinder profiles, man. They're like, there's something else to them, like, you know, when someone says, like, oh yeah, I like to do this, 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 and this. There's probably one thing that you like to do from that list, because nine times out of ten is hiking, working out, and uh, watching video game, or watching uh, TV and crying. So usually you can pick out which one is the correct one, which is usually the third one. So it's very interesting to always see on Tinder. I'm going to give you relationship advice. Oh good. Oh good, yeah. As you should be. So, to guys, just pick one. If you get what I mean, I swear to God, I hear this so many times that like a guy is just like, okay, I have my girlfriend, but I also got Stacy, Jennifer, and I've got this other one that I don't really remember her name, but I, I love her too. Just pick one, be happy, move the fuck on. Um, for girls, um, understand guys are disgusting. We are horrible things. Um, not in the sense that like we can be good, we can be good things. Uh, but most of the time we're pretty gross. We're really, really, really gross. And uh, I think girls don't understand that about guys a lot of times. Because I was with a girlfriend once, and uh, this is kind of gross, but uh, I picked my nose and I just, you know, and she was like, what the fuck was that? And I was like, oh, I just, you know, it's in my nose, and I wanted it out of my nose. So, and she was like, why would you just flick it onto the wall? Um, I was like, because it's, it's there now, and it's not in my nose. So, what's really the problem here? She's like, that's you on the wall. And it's like, there's a lot of stains of me everywhere around here. So, I still don't see the problem. Men are disgusting. That's basically what I'm saying. Um, you're welcome. There you go. Uh, the the thing that I always look for is that there's three criteria in a in a girlfriend for me. Um, of course, honesty. You know, you gotta have honesty. You gotta be truthful to your uh, partner. And uh, the second one, loyalty. You know, you gotta be there for them. You gotta you gotta when they're in the rough and the and the, the heart. The third one is if they liked this last season of Game of Thrones. And um, if they liked it, then you're done. I'm not, I'm not having, we're not having this conversation. Has anybody seen the last season of Game of Thrones? Mm. Jesus Christ. You're all single. You're all fucking. <laughs> we got shit to do. We got shit. You guys do. And that's, uh, that's commendable. I do too. Like, getting on with this set. Um, so, so uh, my mom, uh, you know, I'm kind of like her last hope for a grandchild. And uh, yeah, it's one of those situations uh, where uh, my mom, because my brother, my brother, he, my brother Miguel, he's in the Marines, you know, he doesn't really have time for that, you know, so he's, you know, he's too busy killing people. Um, he doesn't actually, he's a security guard, <laughs> let's get real. Um, but, uh, and my brother Juan, you know, he's kind of, he's just 
waiting for the right one as well, but he lives with my mom still, so, you know, it's kind of hard to date in that sort of situation. Both great guys, and they would make great fathers, just like anybody, because everybody's single here. There's two out there. Um, so, but my mom, she's really, really obsessed with having a grandchild. She wants to have a little baby to pamper and spoil like she never did for us to, to, to give it to the world. And I was telling her, you know, mom, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the right moment, for the right time. And uh, she's like, I don't give a fuck what you're waiting for. Just fuck someone without a condom and give me a goddamn baby. And I'm like, that's not the advice you give someone who's trying to find love. <laughs> Just do it and make a baby. And she was like, well, you know, I really want a baby because uh, you have a lot of old toys, you know. Obviously, I don't use them anymore. And uh, she was like, I really want to give uh, your Legos to someone. I was like, do not ever touch my fucking Legos. Those are mine. They do not belong to anybody else. I will come home, and I will build a spaceship. So leave me alone with my goddamn Legos. I'm very passionate about Legos, if you haven't noticed, because I don't want my children to have my Legos. Those are my Legos. They will buy new sets, and I will make them for them, because kids are stupid. Um, that's it. That's all I got, man. That's all I got. Thank you.